Pride press conference with our star performer who will be performing tomorrow at 8 p.m. on the main stage, which is right here. And he'll be receiving a key to the city from Woo! our mayor <laughs> at 1.30, also from the stage. So for the photographers and videographers, that's a great photo op for you as well. We're going to have about 30 or 40 minutes with Adam uh, this morning, and we appreciate his time uh, very much. He's having a great time in Miami. Yes! <laughs> Miami Sorry. Beach. So proud. And so the way we're going to do this is Kyle is going to moderate that. Kyle is uh, the pride videographer, so he will take questions from uh, the reporters and, and the audience, as well as some questions that Adam's Twitter fans and Facebook followers have submitted to us over the past week. And um, we'll just take turns and go around the room. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Adam. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. So we'd like to kind of kick it off with you guys. Um, Let me get rid of my chewing gum, too, because that would be Jackie. Does anybody have a piece of paper for this chewing gum? Get it from my head right around the door. Get it from the book. Get it from the book. A piece of I don't want to be chomping into the microphone. Here, cut. Like I'm on a, yeah, there we go. Does it have your number classy? On? No. Oh, <laughs> nice. It should. You gotta know how to work it. So classy. There we go. Right. 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 Now it's on stage. Fantastic. Good morning. Good morning, Adam. How are you? Good, really good. How how is it being in Miami Beach? It is so good. Um, I, this is a vacation that I needed for a while. I feel great. Um, yeah. Everybody's so excited down here. Oh yeah. You know. You know why though, right? Well, they're proud. They're and really, really proud. and they're excited because I think we're all excited. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be nice to do a little show down here. Wonderful. Really nice. What are you looking forward to most? I'm um, just seeing the community down here. You know, I think um, whenever you get to come to a celebration like this, the, the energy is really high and everybody's yeah. kind of feeling unified and I think that's going to be a really nice family feel. A, a family feel and yeah. a, a glamly feel. A glamly feel. feel. You, you guys it. know the glamly, the whole, the whole lexicon yes. there. Yeah. It's fabulous. So we're going to take some questions from you guys. If you just want to kind of chime in, I'm going to repeat the question just so we get it on camera and we can make sure we know what we're talking about. Sounds good. All right. Who's going to jump in here? Anybody? Um, any questions for Mr. Lambert? Don't be shy, come on. <laughs> or do you want to think and I'll, I'll do one from Twitter? Do one from Twitter. Okay, so what we did, guys, we didn't know how many questions we'd get because your time is very valuable. So, but we thought what we wanted to do, so we're with the Pride Committee and Basically, kind of like your fans are so awesome and they're so kind and so so loyal. We wanted to, if we only got one question, give the question to them so they could experience this event um, wherever they are in the world. And so they responded really nicely. We had people like Nikki San Juan Watkins seventy, my underscore intuition sixty nine. I can't read the full list, guys. Sorry, but there's a full list here. And they're really, really excited about your third album. Oh. There's a couple of questions related to that. Well, I'll I don't think I can answer anything. All I can say is I'm working on stuff, and that's it. I have to be very ambiguous. Why? Because it, the, it, the cat's not out of the bag. When will it be out of the bag? Well, it's not going to be out of the bag. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea of what to expect? No idea, no idea when I'm going to be able to talk about it. I, I haven't even recorded it yet, so once that gets done, I think okay. I'll probably start talking. Okay, so you're, you've, you've written for it. Yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't even started. You've been listening to things. You know, listening to things, <laughs> talking to people, that's it. So, okay. something. Something on the horizon. So I we're, don't know when. Okay. So all the, all the Twitter fans out there, we're not sure when to expect. We don't know what kind of sound we're going for. What sound are you into these days? What sound? I, I love all the stuff that I'm listening to on the radio. I love that the radio yeah. has become something that was, about two years ago was very dance, electronic dance sure. oriented. Sure, uh, And it still is a bit, but I think it's so exciting because things are getting organic again. And yeah. We're getting back to emotional songwriting. Right. And, uh, it's really nice to see the mix of styles yeah. on the charts. Yeah. Your fans mentioned um, kind of the... The, the songs like the, the the Rihanna song, the kind of the piano ballad driven, the Bruno Mars stuff. It is more like you said, naturalistic, not so yeah, you know, dance really, heavy. Yeah, the are Yeah, I think we're getting back to songwriting again. It's yeah. really nice. Yeah. So you're looking forward to that. Uh, stop trying to bait me. <laughs> so we might expect. Don't throw words in my mouth. I'm I not saying nothing about no album. <laughs> Flip the page, Kyle. He said, "Flip the He's page." This one. I like Flip it. the page. Uh, my intuition. Sorry, my underscore intuition sixty nine on Twitter. Now you love your Twitter fans. Underscore intuition. Let's see. Underscore intuition. Yeah. So, can you say it and thrill her day? Uh, my underscore intuition sixty nine. This What's is your question. Say? This is your question, Boo. <laughs> um, could you describe your career in only three words? 
my career in three words: uh, surreal, um, exciting. Um, God, I think I've got to think of a better third word, right? Um, Glam. Glam. Yeah, sure. Why not? Glam. <laughs> Let's talk about Pride a little bit. Yeah, let's talk about Pride. Now, um, this is your first, correct me if I'm wrong, first kind of outing, well, no pun intended. Not outing. <laughs> your first Pride um, performance, right? Yeah, officially, yeah, I think it is. Why? So, Why now? Why not? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, getting more connected with the community over the last couple of years, um, this year in particular, when this album came out, Trespassing, yes. I really wanted to connect with the gay community because I feel like there's so many themes on the album that are directly related to being different, to being a part of a, of a community that are working their way through some challenges and some uh, tolerance issues, yeah. but doing it with a big smile on our face uh, yeah. and a boa around our neck. Right. <laughs> right. Um, you know, it's it, it, there's a lot of themes on Trespassing that are about that. And then I, I wrote it from the point of view of being out, like everybody else, being out in a club at night, being out with my friends, uh, being a part of this community. Yeah. So um, more than ever, I just feel like I want to connect. Yeah. yeah. Connect in a new, you know, maybe a new way. Yeah. And a new, very, that's cool. So you've got two more on the books? Two more prides? Two more prides, yeah. Pittsburgh Pride. Pittsburgh. Um, wait, what's the other one? San Diego, maybe? That's not Pride. That's um, San Diego, the, the Del Mar Fair. Ah, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> maybe more of a family event. Okay, good. <laughs> a family glam leave. Yeah, <laughs> Let me check in with my friends here. Any questions, guys? Any questions? How are we going to see your beautiful eyes? Sorry, yes. How are we going to see your beautiful eyes, Can no. we see your beautiful <laughs> eyes? <laughs> <laughs> These beautiful <laughs> eyes are up until the wee hours of the morning. So, uh, I got my beautiful shades on. Hope you like them. They're new. I opened up to be your mother, and I knew that those glasses were hiding more It's a day. Sure. It's you know. It's a daytime look. You know. Come on. We're on the beach. Just you know? working on the camera. Yeah. Good job. Uh, come to the show tomorrow night. The eyes will be out in full effect. I promise. I'll have to zoom in. Okay. So where'd you go last night? I heard some rumors. We, we couldn't say that we were committed to being silent about it where really? you were. Yeah, oh, we knew. Yeah. We knew. I think it was at Mova. Yes, you which were. was very cool. Yes. And Twist. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. How'd you like Mova? The, you see the block party there. Yeah, it was so. Great. They shut it down. Yeah, everybody. I was out on the street taking pictures with people. Oh, it was good. really fun. Yeah. 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 What time did you go to bed? I done <laughs> this morning at some point. I, I think the sun was starting to peek through the clouds. Okay, so you, yeah. I mean you're in Miami Beach. You got to yeah. do what you got to do, right? You know, I mean, I figure why not do it right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Questions, guys? Yes, ma'am. Hi, I'm your girlfriend Faye from BoundMag.com. Hi. Thank you, Adam, for being here with us. I mean, it's amazing to have you here. And I saw you at Twist. I get it. Oh, you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, we have the same bartender in common. Did you have fun? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was um, good. I should have worn my glasses at this point, so I get it. Um, yeah, I'm, a huge, I'm a huge pink. Oh, you like my shirt, right? Yeah. Talk yeah. about the lesbian mom. Yeah, I like that shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I need a lesbian mafia shirt. You could totally rock I think I need a lesbian mafia shirt. I think your boobs look better than mine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Let me see. And that's a lot. That's a lot. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm Adam. I'm a big pink fan. Yeah. You know, uh, and most people don't know that that was actually written for her and she's done her own version. She wrote it herself. Yeah. yeah. What and do you want it's from an me? amazing yeah. song and it's hard to say that you brought it. You brought it big time. Yeah. Thank and, like, you. We love it because it's all about you. you Thank know? you. I mean, this, are you going to work with another person like Pink? Pink is. I mean, I would, like, if I would Madonna be, gave you a song yeah. tomorrow, you'd be like, give it I'd be honored right? to work with someone like Pink again. She's amazing. I, I've, I've looked up to her for years. You know, she's an artist that really runs to like her, her own lane, you know what yeah. I mean? She's her own artist, she doesn't make any apologies, she's always been who she is, and I'm inspired by that. Let's say the real thing, she doesn't take bullshit from anybody, just like, yeah, you're about yeah. to like, kiss whoever you want on she's stage, real. whatever the F you want to do, and that's how you want, right? And that's yeah, yeah. how she is. Thank Love you. that. Thank you so much Thank for being you. part of our project. Thank you for your question. Another question, guys. Anyone? Good, good, good. Well, good. Okay. Is there anything you'd like? It is a shy group. Uh, we have a question here. Are you going to do any more covers? Any more covers? I love singing covers, yeah. I mean, I, I was doing, um, I was on tour over the past couple months and definitely was really excited to incorporate some other songs that weren't mine into the set. And we had a great time. Uh, did a wonderful. cover of Shout by Tears for Fears that we had a really good time with. And Stay by Rihanna. Stay. Yeah, I, you know, if, if it's a good song, I want to try to sing it. Yes. You know, if I connect with it and I can help people connect with it, that's the, that's the idea. Yeah. Uh, any questions, guys, or should we go to Twitter? Yes, sir. I want to know, being a gay man in the community, 
happening right now, such a big icon as you become. Um, how do you feel being in this historic time of change um, where we're fighting for equality? I mean, how do you feel like being in this part right now, like in history? Yeah, it is, it is, it is a really, really important time, agreed. Uh, I think we're definitely in the midst of our own civil rights movement in a way. Um, obviously, we're dealing with equality issues and, and tolerance and, and just being unapologetic and being who we are, I love that there's this movement going on right now, and you can feel the excitement. Um, just at events like this, like Pride, you know, going out last night, you can feel it in the air. People are really excited that our community, our, our, our voices are being heard. It's become mainstream, which is huge for us. Um, and yeah, it's amazing to be a part of this movement. Really amazing. And you know, I have to say, um, traveling internationally, makes you really thankful for certain freedoms that we have here in our country. Um, I, I was in Russia uh, a couple months back and St. Petersburg, as you probably know, has a lot of issues with um, the, the gay lesbian community being a little bit oppressed, um, being a little frightened to be out, to be open, um, not being able to demonstrate any sort of pride. Uh, and coming here, it, it, it reminds you how lucky we are. We have so many freedoms, so yeah. Thank you. That's wonderful. Um, I don't. Do you know? Do you know about the Miami Beach uh, Gay Pride uh, Legacy Couples? What is the Legacy? The Legacy Couples. Um, it's a group of people. They've been together for 20 years, and then they have a special kind of um, place for them in the parade. Oh, nice. So you'll see that, that's and that's a wonderful way. I was been speaking to the Legacy Couples over the week, oh, that's and it's amazing to see they're so, and they can come to tears so easily because they've been together sometimes 45, 50 years, and then for them to be celebrated by not only the LGBT. Q. Q. <laughs> okay. Q. Q Community, but also the allies as well. It's yeah. just amazing. Yeah. The level of support for, sure. for everyone. What does that mean to you as an artist to be able to kind of be in this space where things are changing and, and people's perceptions are changing? Um, I mean, I think what's really nice is as we kind of progress forward, it's becoming less of this is how we're different. And yeah. I think it's more of, hey, look, we're the same. Yeah. You know, yeah. um, I think that that's why we have allies like we have now. It's Absolutely. becoming a lot more diverse. We're you know, mixing it up. So I think um, as an artist, it, it gives me more freedom of what to write about. Um, you know, if I'm writing about love, I think it'll allow more people now to understand what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's the same kind of love. Yeah. It's just with a different person. Love is love. You know, when we write these songs about love, they're universal, you know? Do you, as a person, not only as an artist, do you ever feel like you have to hold anything back still? I think some of us could relate to that if well, so. I have a tendency of not biting my tongue. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm kind of an open book. You know, sometimes for PC purposes, you have to kind of clean it up a little bit here yeah. and there, you know, uh, out of respect. Sure. So I've learned that lesson the hard way a few times, but you live and you learn. <laughs> yeah. And even with your look and stuff, do you ever have to tell yourself, or does someone tell you, Man, maybe you want to tone it down a little bit? Me? No. Okay. No, no, I hate toning it down. So you're just not there. in the look department. Yeah. Would you encourage other people to be? Well, I just, I like expressing myself, you know, and, and for me, like the way I put myself together and the way I dress and kind of crazy, eccentric, you know, fashion choices, it's just me having a good time. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, speaking of what you dress, running underscore glitter on Twitter. <laughs> glitter on Twitter, I like they're on there. Um, what's the favorite, what's your favorite clothing item right now in your closet? My favorite clothing item? Um, these new sunglasses. Yes. Yes. That's sweet. <laughs> you can see yourself. Can we? I can. I'm getting distracted. Hair, you know? I probably need to. A no, little that's bit. great. Um, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's Where did you get pick those up? Uh, I, don't, I got them like the day before yesterday in LA, and I just liked them. Are you, you're having a gold moment right now. I'm having a gold moment. A I'm breaking gold. news Twitter. We're yeah, having a gold yeah, moment. It's a gold moment. Gold is back. That's good. That's good. That's good. Do you feel pressure to be tan in Miami Beach? Because we all do. Honey, I got spray tan before. I came here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, I'm going to the beach. I gotta look, you know. You yeah. gotta keep up with these beach people. It's true. It's really hard to do. Yeah, I'm not really a beach person. Me either. Um, yeah, I see your freckles. I've got freckles. It doesn't yeah, really yeah. work for us. But I'm dressed as I'm in beach person costume now today. So yeah. I hope you approve. Even more. No, gold I'm moment. Gold I'm not moment. here to judge. But <laughs> to judge. Not here to judge. I'm not here to judge. Um, Billy Malamas. Hope I'm saying that right. Twitter. Um, something. This could be a good question, or it could be one of those. What the, you know what questions. Okay. Um, are Reese's peanut butter cups still the jam? Yeah, I mean, don't you like Reese's peanut butter cups? Sure. Peanut butter and chocolate are great. Yeah. I'm trying to cut back on my chocolate intake though, so don't put any ideas in my head, okay? Okay, okay. I got you. Um, but, but a nice little segue from that. 
peanut butter. Who is the peanut butter to your chocolate these days? Who is the peanut butter to my chocolate? Um, yeah. Twenty thing you want to reveal? My sunglasses again? I don't know. I, um, <laughs> my glasses? I, I don't. I don't have any official peanut butter to my chocolate. If that's what you're asking. That's what I'm asking. I'm a single man right now. Single in my head. So I'm just the chocolate. Or just the peanut butter, I don't know, depending on how you want to see it. We won't go there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, do you have any questions? Yes, sir. Hi. Uh, I had the pleasure of seeing your fourth the or your entertainment tour. And I can honestly say, having seen hundreds of concerts, this is my favorite concert of my life. Thank you. And I was wondering, you know, you've been touring all around the world. You haven't done that much in the U.S. And I'm wondering if uh, a larger scale tour is in the cards and uh, yeah, tell more people to buy my album, and uh, <laughs> that's, the, that's the truth. I mean, um, yeah, we didn't end up touring for this last album, Trespassing Here in the States, um, focused on some international touring. I'm going to go back to the drawing board now and get into the studio and keep making music, and hopefully it'll reach even more people this next time, and got to keep making things and keep creating. And then once it feels right, then a tour will come. Right. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of performances, um, we mentioned the Prides, uh, or the, the next Pride. Um, love. Yes, thunder. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> the gods are happy. <laughs> or not. Um, and uh, from Twitter, Love Zolf. Love Zolf. Can you say that? Zolf? Love Zolf. Love Zolf. Is wondering, will we see you um, on any American Idol performances? Any performances from American Idol? Well, I don't really have anything to promote at this very second, so I don't know if I'm going to, I might miss the uh, this season, but hopefully next season when I have something to show people. What do you think about the show these days? Have you watched? I, you know, I've been traveling so much. I didn't get to really. I've seen like little bits here and there online, but I haven't really sat down and really watched. Um, I kind of know who the contestants are. Uh, excited that the girls that are still left, or is it three or two left? Diana. <laughs> See, I haven't really watched. All girls left. Yeah. yeah we still watch Talent. Talent yeah. singers is here. Really talented. What do you think about the judges? I love the judges. Very entertaining. Okay. Yeah. Super entertaining. Would you want them to be to have been your judges? No, I, I wouldn't have any regrets on my season. I really liked the way it played out. I mean, Paul Abdul was like a childhood hero of mine, and, and I thought Simon was amazing, and Randy and Kara were awesome. I, I wouldn't change it. Right. Yeah. All right, we do need to kind of wrap it up, guys. Um, any burning desire questions out there? Speak now, forever hold your peace. Yes, sir. I, I have a question about the key to the city that you're going to be receiving. I have a lot of questions about the key, too. <laughs> <laughs> For instance, what is it open? Well, <laughs> <laughs> the key the that, twist. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> the key to the city originates from medieval England, and it means that you have permission to leave cattle through the high streets. Wow. <laughs> Do you plan on doing that in Miami Beach? That, this is a trick question. No, this is true. <laughs> cattle. I, that is what it was originally. I might called. end up leading some cattle through the high streets. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it could. It, I think it happened last night. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> It did a twist. You need to tell us what happened to it. Need to know. What kind of cat it was about? I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't know. I think I have to give it back. Can you wear it? I think I get to like hang on to it for an afternoon, and then it's like, here you go, dust this off, give it to the next guy. But you can buy a house and stay here and Do you think that it opens one of these doors here on the on the beachfront property? Okay. So we've had some requests from photographers for some solo shots okay. of you. So we'll do a couple cool. photo ops just sure. for you. So I'll take those. Nice Guys, let's give Adam a hand. Thank you so much. Yeah, and we'll stand you up. Oh, 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 we're not. Can you do it? Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Can you look this way, Adam? Adam, smile. Adam, right over here. That smile. Work. Okay, just say smile. Smile. <laughs> Work. This way. Your hair is a big smile. Thank you. Adam. Right away, Adam. Now, can you stand? Okay, now you can stand. Up here, Adam. I am you can able stand to stand. and stand. Right. Things can you do, Adam? <laughs> I sing sometimes. Oh, I stand. I sit. Adam, over here. Adam, great. Over here. Ooh. <laughs> That's all we're I have to model, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. it. It's a little weird. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten used to it. <laughs> Thank you guys very much.